Okay, so let's look at how easy it is to use Tagis. Uh, when you log into Tagis, you'll arrive at your dashboard. And the first thing we want to do is upload our 360 footage. In your upper corner, you'll find a menu bar and click Upload Stages. To create 360 footage, you can take your own photos, rent a local photographer to shoot 360 for you, or you can rent our Civetta camera. It's a top-of-the-line camera with the most megapixels, which creates the most immersive 360 environments. And if you want to know more about that camera, talk to your Tagis provider. Anyway, to upload, you locate your files, select them, and then click Next. The next step is to upload a preview image that works as a thumbnail for your stages. This will make it easier for you to navigate yourself through your different stages in your dashboard. I'll go with an Airbus A320 exterior for this example. Now, what you want to do is to upload an overview map of the plane, and this will make it easier to navigate between your different stages. I'll go with my A320 map. And then I'll click on a map to place my stage. So here's stage one, stage two, and stage three. Save and finish, click next. And finally, I'll name my stage and write a short description. I'll click finish. It takes a couple of minutes for the program to process the content, but after a while, you'll find your stages in your dashboard. Back in your dashboard, you'll find the tab My Courses. Now, this is all the courses that you have produced. Tagis courses are courses that you or your colleagues have produced, and the All tab shows an overview on all existing courses. To create the new course, simply click the plus symbol. And this will bring you to a library of white label environments with different models. Select the model that you want and then click Create Course. Now it's time to choose the scenes you want for your walk around. You can choose to either manually pick your scenes or if you want to activate all scenes, click on Select All Scenes. And this is how easy it is to name your scenes. You can also easily reorder your scenes by simply dragging and dropping. And always remember to save your changes. The next tab is called Overview. This is where you'll name your model and give it a description. You can also write a welcome message to those who take the course, and a completion message that the students will see after completing the course. And below you'll also see your project settings. Now here you can choose to invite your colleagues to collaborate on your project. You can also enable a final test for the students with or without a time limit, and decide if you want to show test results in the final quiz or in training mode. And click Save. Now let's create some hotspots. Let's go into edit mode. So right now we're looking away from the airplane, but to set an initial view, that's the first thing that anyone taking the course sees, just drag the image to where you want it and then click on the eye symbol, which will lock the view. To add a hotspot, simply double click where you want it and then name it. There's three different layouts to choose for your hotspot. There's the two column layout, which have media and text. The second option is the one column layout with only text. And then there's the media layout with only media, such as images, video or audio. I'll go with the uh, two column layout. Name your tab and then write your text. To add media, click open media library. Now here you can choose from importing an image, video or audio. In the audio tab, you can also choose to record audio directly from your computer. Now I'm gonna choose these four pictures and then I'll name them. Click insert and click Save. And you see the pictures have ordered themselves into a nice little portfolio here. To create new tabs in the hotspot, just click the plus symbol and once again you'll get the opportunity to choose from different layouts. If you're not happy with the placement of your hotspot, you can easily move it. Just select Move Hotspot and then double click on the place where you want your new location to be. Down here on the I button you can share certain information about the course, such as hints or frequently asked questions. Now, this information will be available for students throughout the whole course. By clicking the little arrow on the left side, you'll see all your hotspots. And we only have the one here, but let's look at a finished course with lots of hotspots. So now we're in a cockpit of a B737 that has loads of hotspots. And let's look at how easy it is to create a quiz. So you just find a hotspot, click Create a Quiz, and then click on the plus symbol to add your question. Write your question, and you can also write a description and add pictures. To add answers, you click the plus sign. To mark the right answer, click on the capital letter for the answer. You can choose to have more than one right answer. And then click Save. Now if you go into preview mode and click on your hotspot, you can select Quiz Me on this to see your question.
Okay, now we wanna share and export what we've done. Make sure you exit preview mode, click on the little black arrow, then click on copy to clipboard to get a URL link which you can view in any up-to-date browser. If you go back to your dashboard, find your course, click on it, and on the link symbol, you can also get the URL link so you can get it on a couple of places. If you wanna do a SCORM export, click the three little dots here and choose SCORM export. This will give you a zip file. You can also copy a course, which can be helpful if you would want, like to make a similar course like the one you just did, and you don't want to have to redo everything. And uh, that's how easy it is to create your own e-learning courses in Tagus. Thanks for listening. <laughs>